Hey, howdy, hey! Welcome to Nate Talks. I'm Nate. And after I posted last week's video, I was clicking around on YouTube, checking my subscriptions, stuff like that, and I noticed my buddy Talent Hatter, who I talked about in an earlier video, tagged me in this 13 questions game. So I am now it. Which means that I have 13 questions that I have to answer that I got from his video. I have them all written down right here. And I'm just gonna answer them for you real fast right now. Let's get going. Question one. What do you order at Starbucks? That's a complicated question. Gotta be honest with you, I don't really go to Starbucks. I used to, but it's been a really long time since I went. I think the last thing that I ordered at Starbucks was probably a Starbucks double shot. Mistake. It had a lot of caffeine in it. it. Gave me a headache. Question two. What's one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? My banana suit. Question three. What is one thing that most people probably don't know about you. I feel like this is kind of lame to just do my middle name. My middle name is actually pretty cool. My middle name is Alwyn. Let me spell that for you. It's A-L-W-Y-N-E. Alwyn. Question four. Name one thing you want to do before you die. Go hang gliding while wearing a bear suit or my banana suit. Either one. Question five. What's one food that you cannot live without? Chicken McNuggets. Question six. What quote or phrase do you try to live your life by? Hakuna Matata. Question seven. What do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? This is actually a really good question for me since I'm relatively new. I really basically just like that I can do whatever I want, say whatever I want, put myself out there. And people are usually pretty nice, for the most part. I also really like having friends that are also a part of the YouTube community, people I know in real life. That's really helpful for someone like me who's just trying to get started. Question eight. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? Fly like a G6. Just kidding. I don't even really like that song. Question nine. What is your favorite number? Twelve. Question ten. What are two of your hobbies? So you're looking at one of them. This right here is kind of what I've been doing lately. I also play guitar and write songs a little bit. Question 11 Thin, I'm out of fingers. What are two of your pet peeves? Actually, I don't really like the phrase pet peeves, so I guess that's one of them. And the other one, I would have to say, is when people are just really rude. I know a lot of people have a problem with, like, people who are rude to old people, people who are rude to children, specific stuff. I just don't like rudeness in general. Don't be rude. It's rude. Question 12. What is your guilty pleasure? Kind of a weird one. Well, actually, here's something that I really like that I don't really share with people much, except now, putting it on the internet. I really like this song, Dynamite, by Teo Cruz. Teo Cruz? Tayo Cruz? Tao Cruz. I don't know how you say his name. But I like the song, which surprises people. That's not usually what I'm into. But something about that song just makes me want to light up this club like it's dynamite. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. Question 13. No. Question 13. Last one. What's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? Right now, that song would have to be Deer in the Headlights by Owl City. It's one of the songs that's been released off of his new album, All Things Bright and Beautiful. And here's a picture of it right here. I even like the cover. It's very bright and very beautiful and very no longer on the screen. The album actually comes out on Tuesday. I've already pre-ordered my copy and I highly recommend that you pick it up. Anyway, that's all the questions. So now it's my turn. I'm only tagging two people, so you guys better do it. I'm gonna tag Repo Man, and I'm gonna tag Blue Squid Productions. And there's links to both those guys down there in the description. There's also a link to Talent Hatter down there. Like I said earlier, he's the reason I'm doing this in the first place. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and please follow me on Twitter if you're on Twitter. Or if you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter. There's a link to that down there in the description region as well. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week with some more Nate Talks. Bye.